Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Integrated Upstream Downstream Training Plan UDTP, one of its kind in the world. UDTP has transformed InSteps business landscape and added value in on job trainings for our students. Currently, we are in Central Control Room CCR. All of our training plans are controlled, protected, and monitored from CCR by a dedicated Integrated Control and Safety System, ICSS. ICSS comprise of 1. Distributed Control System, DCS 2. Instrument Protection System, IPS and 3. Fire and Gas System, FGS We have two main control rooms upstream and downstream control room where the control room is able to train up to 40 panel operators. Now we are going to enter UDTP to know more about it. Let's go! Before entering UDTP, we need to ensure that we wear Complete Personal Protective Equipment PPE. This comprises of a hard hat, safety glass, coveralls, and safety boots. We also need to ensure that before doing any activities in the plant that we have applied for an approved permit to work, PTW. Because at UDTP, safety is our priority. For an instance, for this recording, I have applied for this PTW. All right, let's go. In UDTP, we have two main process plants, the upstream plant and the downstream plant. These two plants are supported by utility plant and tank storage. These plants are real and they have been designed for training purposes. Hence, our products from these plants are competent manpower. Our plant is similar to a surface production platform at the offshore. So now our plant is located on the ground, but imagine that the sea is below me. The difference between our plant and the production platform at the offshore are the mediums that we use in the system. Here, we use water, nitrogen, and mineral oil to simulate the crude oil from the reservoir. So for upstream, we have two identical plants, train A and train B. The difference between the two plants are the well test system. Train A houses multi-phase flow meter MPFM and train B houses a test separator. The process at upstream plant is a crude separation process where we want to separate between oil, water and gas based on density. The process starts from simulation of crude oil through the wellhead system and flows through the separation system. At the separation system, the simulated crude oil will be separated into gas at the top, mineral oil separated by wear, and water at the bottom. The nitrogen gas will flow to gas compression system to increase the pressure up to 8 bar and then flow to gas dehydration system to remove the moisture. The water will flow to produce water treatment system and the mineral oil will flow to oil stabilization system then to the oil transfer pump. All materials are separated and they will recombine back at the wellhead. So the process at upstream plant is a closed process. And now we are going to the downstream plant, which is similar like a refinery plant. As you can see, that is a downstream plant. At the downstream plant, we have two process plants. One is crude distillation unit, CDU, and another one is hydro treating unit, HTU. The plant here is similar to CDU and Nafta Hydro Treating Unit and HTU at a refinery plant. The difference between the plant here and a refinery plant are the mediums used in the system. Here we use 
monoethylene glycol, MEG, dilute it with water and nitrogen to stimulate crude oil. And of course, don't forget the sizing of the equipment. For the process, there are two main processes. One is the distillation process at CDU, where the diluted MEG with water will be separated at distillation column based on boiling point by heating it with a train of heat exchangers and furnace until 130 degrees Celsius. Another main process is hydro-treating process, where the process is a dummy process of a reaction system. The parameters to be controlled are the pressure and temperature. The pressure is 2.6 bar and temperature 120 degrees Celsius. Here, we use steam to increase the temperature of the reactor. All separated liquid, water and MEG will combine back and flow back to the feed tank. To support the main process plant, we have utility plant such as cooling water system, steam generation system where we have fire tube boiler and compressed air system. These systems are to produce plant and instrument air, nitrogen system and treated water system. UDTP also have fire water system for emergency should there be any fire incident. Finally, to manage the UDTP, we have a dedicated operation and maintenance team to ensure our UDTP are available and reliable for the training. Thank you for your attention.